part two. I just got cut off a few minutes ago. Father in heaven, holy, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us of our trespasses as we forgive those that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. <sighs> okay. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody's devil's eyes knocking at the door. You're going to have people knocking at your door. They're always trying to get you to do something you shouldn't be doing. Just stay on the narrow path. Please stay on the narrow path. Because there's so much going on in the world that is just everything you can think of. Whatever it is that like does this for you, the devil already knows and he's going to come and he's going to send people to come and try to mess you up, okay? So just don't let that happen. Be mindful. We are in the end days. There is no future. It's so true. The, the future is with God. That's who it's with. It's not with this world. Okay? Wow. So, I don't know. I just got cut off, though, in the middle of doing that video, but I had already put in, like, 15 or 16, 17 minutes into it, and I just wanted to get to the end of Chapter 7. Seeing where it cut me off, it was it was right at the forever. It was it was verse twelve saying, "Amen, blessing and glory and wisdom and thanksgiving and honor and power and might be unto our God forever and ever." Amen. Before I go any further, too, I just want to say that I am not a prophet. I am not a teacher. Women are not to teach. All I was directed to do was to read Exo Jesus so that people, if they wanted to, could hear the Word of God. Older people that are maybe can't see so well anymore or they... It doesn't even matter to me, okay? I just accepted. Um, it took me two years to, to do it, but I accepted um, what he told me. And then the name of the channel that he gave to me to name the channel. This is his channel not my channel it's just not okay that's not how I look at it at all and so what I worry about is that if I do not stick to doing what he's asked me to do which is to read to you guys it's really important to me because I've been mourning for millions and millions of people for like for like seven years because I've been knowing that this time is going to this time is here I don't even feel time anymore. I don't. It seems like the days go by in like a couple hours and that's it. And they're gone. So you know that time is amp ramping up. It's like coming to a head. And uh, the, the tribulation, the great tribulation is at the door. It's at the door. If you go back and look a couple of videos before this, it's all about the solar eclipse and the screenshots that I keep getting and the 4-8 and pay attention child. Well, one thing I wanted to mention before I go into this reading is that it peaks, the solar eclipse peaks at 3.07 p.m. in Nineveh, Indiana. And um, when I was like looking through this research, the Lord... It just popped into my head immediately to look up 307 in the Strong's Concordance. You need to look up 307. Google 307 Strong's Concordance. It's pretty amazing. And there is a Rapture, Indiana. There is a Elijah, Missouri. And a Nineveh, Missouri. I'm in Missouri. But I mean, it's just incredible how many states of Nineveh that there's a town, Nineveh, that the solar eclipse is going right through. And then the first one in 2017, that one has seven, get the seven Salem's, which means Jerusalem. This time coming around, which is exactly six years, six months, six weeks, and six days apart, exactly 
has eight Ninevehs in it. And when you look at the United States, it looks like a whale. You can see it. Go to God a Minute, and that's the name of the channel, and he has written out, he sure ha or he's drawn it all out, and it's like you can see the whale, and it's amazing, it really is. You can't deny it. So, but anyways, okay, look, I'm going to read, and then um, let you go, because this doesn't need to be too lengthy, okay? It just doesn't. I'm just reading the word of God. I want everyone to hear it. And just because Jesus asked me to, that's why. But I do not look at myself like I am. I'm just nobody. I'm just like you guys. We're all here. All of us are brothers and sisters and fellow brethren in the family of Jesus Christ. And that's that. That's it. There are so many people that are in error. Like there's some things going on on YouTube with people with uh, some of the people that are on YouTube and um, just please Lord correct me and chase me if there's anything that I do that's incorrect because I, I do get into trouble so if there's you guys if people aren't teaching that John 3 3 about getting baptized and they can say a prayer just asking Jesus into their heart without getting a baptism, a water baptism. They are deceiving you. They are fooling you into, uh, they're working for the enemy. They may not know it, but most of them do. Okay. So I'm just going to say that, that much about it. And I will not bring up any names. I just won't. But I am going to tell you that they're just to be careful out there okay because there's a lot of people that believe that they don't need to be baptized and I get it all the time in my comment section you know something I'm not going to argue because if you want to like not read the, the bible that's that's your problem I'm reading the bible right to you that's it that's all I can do I'm trying to help that's how I can help because that's what I was told to do this is not a ministry this is not, I'm not a prophet. I'm not a teacher either, okay? So just, I'm not perfect. I'm nobody. That's how I look at myself, except for a child of God. Thank goodness. And I love Jesus with all my heart. I want to see him. I want to be with him. And I don't think about anything else. So... That's where we come from, y'all. This is why I've been here 55 years. That's nothing, right? I'm almost 55. But that's where we are from. Originally, that's where we're from. We're not from here, you guys. It tells us this in the Bible, that we're just pilgrims passing through. Strangers in a strange land is right. We're the aliens here. We're, we're truly the aliens, okay? Because there's so many people that are against us just because of Jesus, just because of the name of Jesus. They flip out. They flip out. Have you ever noticed? They will like all be like at work and stuff where I am at work. A lot of them, they will just sit there and scoff and will talk about me behind my back. I don't care. I really don't care anymore. It doesn't matter. But I am still trying and I still pray for them. And, um, you know, some of them, they will say that they love Jesus, they believe in Jesus, but yet they're doing witchcraft. And I'm like, I've tried to warn, a, and tarot cards and things like that, and I've tried to warn, okay? And I did this in my 20s because I didn't know, because I hadn't read the Bible. I didn't even know it was wrong, okay? So I was just trying to help. And I've done it twice and like this person is just set on doing what she wants to do. So, I mean, you can only like tell someone so many times that it's forbidden in the Bible to do that. Or you're considered to be a diviner or sorceress or a psychic or whatever medium. Remember, King Saul went to the medium and what did he do? He, he had her summon Samuel, the prophet Samuel. Uh, and bring Samuel forth to like give him advice or whatnot. Remember? Yeah, that happened in the Bible. Mm -hmm. Mediums are not, they're working for the enemy. So, and whether they know it or not, that is against God. That's totally forbidden in the Bible. Angel numbers, stay away from that. Stay away from angel tarot cards. 
don't even go into nothing angel, okay? Because there are fallen angels and they are all over the place, okay? They really are. It says, Jesus said that it would be just like in the days of Noah. That's when the fallen angels came down and they were sitting there procreating with the daughters of men and having giants, giving birth to giants. That's considered to be part of the days of Noah. That's why destruction came. All right. All right. I'm not going to get mad. It just makes me go. Sometimes I just want to like, ugh. because some people, it seems like they're awake and then you really start talking and then they're against whatever it is that is the truth. And how can you deny the truth? You can't. What you see, you cannot unsee it. I've seen it all. Like, and unfortunately, um, as supernatural as this life is that I'm living in, y'all can have just as much of a supernatural life. It's, it's part of like spending time with Jesus, spending time reading in the Bible, listening to the Bible, anything to do with it and praying to him, talking to him. All of it does. And he loves you so much, all of you guys, okay? Just, I'm just worried about everybody's mental well being. I want y'all to be prepared because things are coming. Look up 307. Just look, look 307 up at the peak time of the solar eclipse. Just look at what 307 means in the Strong's Concordance Bible, okay? <laughs> All right, I'm going to read these last few verses of Revelation chapter 7. Wow, Tristan, he's down here. Oh, this is my baby. This is my baby. Sees my baby. He's so handsome. And he just put his paw on me. He knows when I'm, like, upset. And he'll just come sit down next to me. He's such a good boy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tristan. Okay. So here we go. We're going to start at verse 13. And one of the elders answered, saying unto me, What are these which are arrayed in white robes? And whence came they? And so the elders, this elder doesn't know about this great multitude that just shows up in heaven with white robes and with palms in their hands. So it's just a little clue. And I said unto him, Sir, thou knowest. And he said to me, Ah, these are they which came out of the great tribulation, out of great tribulation, and have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. Therefore are they before the throne of God and serve him day and night in his temple. And he that sitteth on the throne shall dwell among them. They shall hunger no more, neither thirst any more. Neither shall the sun light on them, nor any heat. For the Lamb which is in the midst of the throne shall feed them and shall lead them into living fountains of waters. And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. Amen. Now, I'm going to skip ahead really fast because... In the book of Enoch, I want there was something that I just thought about today that came to my mind, and it was like one of those ching ching moments not like money, but ching ching like the thought, the light bulb just went on. And it talks about this in Revelation, I believe, 22. And it's talking about the fruits that nobody is allowed to eat from the tree of the fruits that bear that bo that bear 12 different types of fruits. Let's see if I can find it. I think it's right here. Yes, so here it is. Okay, Revelation 22. And he showed me a pure river of water of life clear as crystal proceeding out of the throne of God and of the lamb in the midst of the street of it and on either side of the river was there the tree of life which bore 12 manner of fruits and yielded her fruit every month and the leaves of the tree were 
for the healing of the nations. And there shall be no more curse, but the throne of God and of the Lamb shall be in it, and his servants shall serve him, and they shall see his face, and his name shall be in their foreheads. And there shall be no night there, and they need no candle, neither light of the sun, for the Lord God giveth them light, and they shall reign forever and ever. And he said unto me, These sayings are faithful and true. And the Lord God of the holy prophets sent his angel to show unto his servants the things which must shortly be done. Behold, Jesus says, I come quickly. Blessed is he that keepeth the sayings of this prophecy of this book. Now, this is the second time that it says you're blessed in the book of Revelation. It's right in chapter 22. Okay, and I saw, I, John, saw these things and heard them. And when I had heard and seen, I fell down to worship before the feet of the angel, which showed me these things. Then saith he unto me, See thou do it not, for I am thy fellow servant. There are elders. The angels are our elders. Okay, you don't worship them. Never. Okay. They saith he, then saith he unto me, See thou do it not, for I am thy fellow servant, and of thy brethren the prophets, and of them which keep the sayings of this book. Worship God, is what the angel tells John. And he saith unto me, Seal not the sayings of the prophecy of this book. Seal not the sayings of the prophecy of this book, for the time is at hand. He that is unjust, let him be unjust still. And he which is filthy, let him be filthy still. And he that is righteous, let him be righteous still. And he that is holy, let him be holy still. Here is Jesus speaking. And behold, I come quickly and my reward is with me to give every man according to as his work shall be. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. Blessed are they that do his commandments, that they may have right to the tree of life and may enter in through the gates into the city. For without our dogs and sorcerers and whoremongers and murderers and idolaters and whosoever loveth and maketh a lie, I, Jesus, have sent mine angel to testify unto you these things in the churches. I am the root and the offspring of David and the bright and morning star. And the spirit and the bride say, Come, and let him that heareth say, Come, and let him that is a thirst come. And whosoever will, let him take the water of life freely. For I testify unto every man that heareth the words of this prophecy of this book, if any man shall add unto these things, God shall add unto him the plagues that are written in this book. And if any man shall take away from the words of the, the book of this prophecy, God shall take away his part out of the book of life and out of the holy city and from the things which are written in this book. He which testifieth these things saith, Surely I come quickly. Amen. Even so, come Lord Jesus. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. But the thing is, is about the fruit on the trees. I don't think that anybody is going to be able to eat from that until after the thousand year millennial reign. And then that's the time of the great, there's like a great, great um, judgment, like a judgment thing. Because all of the other children that are born during, during the millennial reign, there will be uh, humans still being born. And I believe it's going to go back to like it was in the beginning, longer lifespans. Okay, that's why the devil is imitating everything God does, because that's exactly what he does. That's why we're already here, y'all. Uh, basically, the way I see it, in my opinion, is like this. Okay, your spirit is already plugged into this biological avatar called the host body, the flesh system. Okay, you're already plugged in. You came from heaven. 
okay? It's like an avatar. You're in your body already. It's You're already in the avatar. Why is Satan trying to imitate everything God has done by plugging you into another avatar? That is freaky, man. But it comes along with the mark, and the mark is coming sooner than you think. So just please be advised. Please be advised. It's... it's it's coming so soon. I'm praying for everybody out there. If you need prayers, please leave it down in the comments or you can email me and I will be praying. We can talk and we can pray together, okay? I love y'all in Christ so much and just all blessings and honor and glory and power onto our Lord Jesus sitting at the right hand of the Father, serving victoriously, reigning victoriously. He is watching over all of us. Amen. All right. you. Lo I love you guys. I really am kind of just lost for words unless it's just speaking right out of the Bible. <laughs> I'm like, I get dumbfounded. I don't know what to say. That's why I said I am not a teacher and I'm not a prophet just to make it very clear. And um, but I have been given dreams and a couple of visions. And when those happen, I do share. But I also do want to read the book of Revelation for you all because it is a blessing when you read it and when you hear it. So I'm just praying that anybody, Lord, that you would just get this out to whoever would read, would want to listen to it. That's all. It doesn't even matter to me about how many people see it at all. What I, it's, if it's just one person that gets saved that will hear this and go get saved. That's all that matters. The, the angels rejoice in heaven over one soul getting saved. So just pray about it and then move in your faith, your action. Your faith is an action. And once you show that faith and step out on faith, you will be surprised at how many miracles will start happening. So... That's all I can think of to say. I love y'all. And we'll talk to you later. See you soon. Bye.